say, can you see, by the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free and the home of the brave? <laughs> it was right after the revolution, right after peace had been concluded, and um, Ethan Allen went to London to help our new country conduct his business with the king. The English sneered at how rough we are and rude and simple-minded and on like that everywhere he went, until one day he was invited to the townhouse of a great English lord. Dinner was served, beverages imbibed, time passed, as happens, and Mr. Allen found he needed the privy. He was grateful to be directed thence. <clears throat> Relieved, you might say. <laughs> now, Mr. Allen discovered on entering the water closet that the only decoration therein was a, a portrait of George Washington. Ethan Allen done what he came to do and returned to the drawing room. His host and the others were disappointed when he didn't mention Washington's portrait. And finally, his lordship couldn't resist and asked Mr. Allen had he noticed it, the picture of Washington he had. Well, what did he think of its placement? Did it seem appropriately located to Mr. Allen? Mr. Allen said it did. His host was astounded. Appropriate? George Washington's likeness in a water closet? Yes, said Mr. Allen, where it'll do good service. The whole world knows nothing to make an Englishman shit quicker than the sight of George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> I love that story. Here's a couple of things America got right. Cars and freedom. Well, father and I went down to camp along with Captain Gooding. There we saw some men and boys as thick as hasty pudding. Yankee Doodle, keep it up, Yankee Doodle dandy. Find the music and the step and with the girls be handy. And there was General Washington upon the strapping stallion.
is a victim of unspeakable abuses Her husband was violent, malicious and distant Her kids now belong to the state of Massachusetts They've been taken away Won't you give this thing a try? You can if you fail.